I was born and raised in the South Bronx. It was horrible. Surviving alone is tough. You're so defensive and offensive in the Bronx. Constantly looking around, paranoid, and even feeling scared. And I used to walk to work by this army recruiting station. I always stopped there. I always liked how those guys used to present themselves. There was an incident that happened in the Bronx. I got hurt pretty bad. I have some scars here. It broke my jaw. I have some wires and screws. So I was in the hospital for like a month, I'd say. I remember leaving the hospital. I went straight to the recruiting station. I told them, get me out of here. Get me out of here now. And they filled out the paperwork, and two weeks, I was gone. I came home in 2010 from an eight-year contract with the Army. And I served three tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. I came home straight to Century Park. I reached out to a couple of family members, a couple of friends, but the usual. You, know, you need somebody, there's nobody there. Because I had just came home from the Army, I still had this Army mentality of waking up at 5 in the morning and exercising. The way I was exercising, people were just looking like, you know, who is this guy? Jumping jacks, push-ups, sit-ups, running, military stuff. Non-stop, sweating, let's go. So I started meeting a lot of people. I would say a year or two after receiving some help, from the state of New York and from the VA, I felt a bit motivated to want to pursue my education. After doing some research, I heard about Berkeley and almost immediately fell in love. Thought I was ready to go to school, but I wasn't. So the first quarter, I failed it. I tried a second quarter and I failed that quarter as well. I gave it another shot and I failed that quarter. And all this was due to me being still in a transition phase. I thought I was ready and I wasn't. I was still homeless. I had lost my family. I had lost a lot of friends overseas. So a lot of this was still playing a huge role in my life at the time. That's one of the reasons why I started looking for help in school. I started reaching out. I remember getting a letter when I opened it, it said, congratulations, you're part of the president's list. I wouldn't at all have made it to where I'm at now without the help of Berkeley College. It was definitely a challenge and an obstacle. I took it head on. Berkeley truly opens their doors to the veterans. That's what brings me here today.